Welcome to the video called Download and Install Apps and Software, which is related to my cloud or, in this case, the Mermaid Cloud. This video is a part of a reference list that was added to the welcome email that you should have received by now. Also, it is important that when this video really becomes important is after you have received the invitation by email, verified and created your account, then the next step is to download and install apps and software that will help you manage and navigate the Mermaid Cloud. So let's get started. So the first thing we will take a look at is we will look at the downloading and the installing of the WD My Cloud desktop software that can be downloaded for the Windows and the Mac platform. That means if you have a Windows desktop or laptop or if you have a MacBook or an iMac, then you can go to WD's website, and that means Western Digital's website, and download this software. So let's take a look at the downloading and the installing of the desktop software for the Windows and Mac platform. To get this software to run my cloud, you go to the internet. I assume that the computer you want to connect to my cloud is connected to the internet. So I'll go down to my browser, start my browser up. I will go in to Google, and in here I'll write following. I'll write my cloud download. And, and here you see Western Digital Support downloads personally cloud storage, my cloud. When you click on that, you will get into this site here where you can see up here support vdc.com. That is the correct website. And here you can see if you have a Windows, you can download this either the manual or the programs that needed to access the cloud. And then you have here if you're a Mac user, you have the same here. And the program you need for Windows and for Mac is the one that is called VD My Cloud Desktop for Windows and VD My Cloud Desktop for Mac. The one called VD My Cloud Setup for Windows is only used for the person who sets up the cloud, not the people who access it. If you want to access it, you need the VD My Cloud Desktop for either Windows or for Mac. So when you click here, then you go a little bit further down, you can see here, here is the window executable, and here is the download. You press on it, and you will see it start downloading right away. If I was on a Mac, I'll do the same, VD Cloud Desktop for Mac. I'll click here and do the same, go a little bit further down here, and here I have the download. So I'll say download. And you can see it only takes a few minutes maximum, or a few seconds. Mine took only a few seconds, but a few minutes. And, and then if I want to install it, I just click here on, if I'm on a Windows, I'll click the Windows the executable file, but here now when I'm on a Mac, I will click the GMG, and here the program is, and I'll just follow the instructions and install the program. It is straightforward. It is a tutorial where you just answer the questions, and mostly you just say continue, continue, continue. When you are finished installing the program, it should turn up, for my sake, I have put them here, down here on my docking line. But if you have a Windows, you can have the icons on your desktop or when you go down to the start button. And it depends on also what Windows you are on, if you're on an 8.1. But that's it. And then you click on the one that is meant, VD My Cloud. So you click here. For mine, mine will log in automatically. You only have to set it up once, and you will be provided with your user ID, your password, and then there is a password for the drive. And you can see here, you go in, and it has already my user ID because I have logged in before. 
In this case, it is my email address, and then it only come and ask me for my password. And the same goes when you have a Windows or a Mac, and if you are on an iPhone, iPad, and so on. Okay, let's take a look at the next task. The next task will be to go to the, in this case, to the Mac App Store and download the app called WD My Cloud. Download it and install it on an iPad. It has to be said that the same procedure we use for the iPad can be used on an Android tablet where you just go to the Google App Store and download the WD My Cloud app. So let's take a look how that's done. So, let's take a look at the last task we have to do, or to take a look at, and that is to go in and download apps for the smartphones. And in this case here, we'll go into the Mac App Store again and download the WD My Cloud app from the App Store for the iPhone. It has to be said again that the same procedure we use for the iPhone is the same procedure we'll use for the Android phone. So if you have done it once, or if you have taken a look at how we do it when we deal with the iPhone, it is so similar with how you do it on an Android phone, where you log into the Google App Store and you download the WD MyCloud app and install it on the phone. So let's take a look. 